Hello everyone, welcome to Job Skills Share, our course for System Administration Lab course. In this video, we will install Windows 2012 Server R2, and to do that, we will basically go to over VMware ESXi, and uh, the first thing you need to do is to create a new virtual machine here. And if you don't know how to upload ISO, please watch the section before this, because I'm not going to upload. ISO file in this section I already did that so watch the video before this to get to know that so you're gonna click on typical here and then you'll name it Windows server whatever you want to name it 2012 can type today so click next after that and um, actually I wanted to check this because this one has more um, space in here uh, that's where we will pick the 2012 and you should see 64 bit right here and we'll click click next and I'm gonna keep this so I can get the same IP address and this I am just going to do 15 actually 20 and click next now when you do your installation you might want to keep it a little bit higher than this and you might have more space the reason I'm not putting more space in there because I already installed it right here so the whole installation is done but I wanted to show this part to you guys so then you guys know what you guys are going to be doing if you're using this lab or if you're using your home labs so that's why I kept it a little lower but you might want to keep it more than that so click on next and then we'll finish it once you finish it you should see it over here now like I said I already have it over here um, but I'm going to show you another uh, step that you will need for it to work uh, you will need to go to your edit virtual machine settings just click OK on that message and then here you will see you have 4 GB RAM you can lower it down um, I'm just gonna give it two for now uh, and then you can change your CD drive right here uh, that's where you will need to uh, know that ISO file so where it is in this lab you can click browse and I think it's in data store one and this is where you can get that and you just click OK this is an important step you have to do you have to check on this connect at power on when you click on OK after this you can basically click on power on virtual machine go to the console and just wait for uh, the server to start the installation so now we are basically installing the server from scratch now this process that I'm going to show you guys a few more steps and after that steps when everything is over like for example it start from 1% to 100% then it will come to this um, that this is where I'm going to delete this one and then this is where we are right now that's why I wanted to cover this section because th this was not covered in this uh, installation and then you will see this message just click next we're going to click on install now alright so then we will just click the last one because we want to see everything GUI GUI uh, so then click on next then you click accept agreement click next custom install click on that and then you'll pick the space this is the one that you just created um, and then you'll click next and this is where everything will be done automatically you don't need to do anything else after this this will be done this will be done this will be done and finish up so when everything is finished up now I'm gonna basically stop this because I don't need this anymore I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it from the disk and this is where you will basically come you know, power on once everything is done you will see something like this now every time you start the lab if you let's say for example get this lab from us this is where you will be basically you every time you can come and do your stuff you can reset it back to this again uh, if you do a mistake so that's why we had we kept it on on the front page because we don't want to go through the installation again and again that will be just a waste of time so people can watch this video of how to install the server but there's really not much to it um, 
because we want you guys to know the domain controller active directory dns dscp to get to that quickly uh, we just uh, make sure that we did the installation beforehand so this is where you will get so if let's say for example you do any mistakes when you do labs and at some point you say you know what I'm just gonna go back to what where I started you can just go back to snapshot snapshot manager just click on this one and say go to and then click yes and then it will take you back to this page again and then you can start all over, all over again so that was a video for install Windows 2012 R2 the next we will install the Linux server Zential just like the same way we did alright see you guys in a different video thank you